going to show you how to use text cues. Now, if you're looking to design your show and to make beautiful backdrops and all that kind of stuff, texting is not the, the uh, thing you're going to be using. You're not going to be using the text cues for that. Uh, but text cues become phenomenal in situations when you need to change what's on the screen every single day. So, for example, I use text cues all the time as pre-show uh, to, let's say, I'm doing an event at a fair and the show times are at different times every single day. I can actually physically write those show times up on the screen, uh, whether it's a television monitor out front or it's a projection screen or an LED wall out front, or if they can actually see the stage, if they're not having to walk in a theater to see it, if they can see the stage from the lobby, um, I'll actually put that on the big screen next show at such and such time. So let me show you how to do that. It's really, really easy to do. We're gonna drag this text queue in here and we're gonna give it a surface to project to. So we're gonna put QLab TV. And then we are gonna to go to text and we're gonna type Showtime at 7.30 p.m. Okay. Um, we can now click that, go to custom geometry, and that's the size it's going to be. So there's two ways of doing it. You can go to text, you can hit um, font, you can make the font as large as you can. I think that's kind of helps with the better quality because the font is actually large to begin with. Now if you go to custom geometry, you're going to scale that nice and big however you want it. Um, of course, if you want to do it like this, show times, you can go 7.30 and 9.30 p.m. And now it you can choose center or left, just like any other text program. Um, and you can change the font as well. Uh, if you go to font area here, you could change it with that font. You have so many choices you can do. Uh, this is actually fairly new as well. Um, you can change the, the color of the font. Uh, but I usually find, especially with projections, I use white because they're super bright. People can see them from far away. Um, so let's go ahead and do this uh, logo graphic that I have in the back. There's about uh, three layers in here. We're going to add that right on top by hitting Showtime. And uh, I think the quality is a bit low. Let's see if that is true. Yeah, I think the quality is a bit low. Let's try to do this again and see if we can up the um, size of the actual font. Ridiculously large, maybe to help Oh, when I raised that, it didn't raise that, it raised the other thing. There we go. So can we make that higher than 100? Yes, we can. We can make it 200. So now, there we go. Now the font is much bigger size, and we can have full control over that, and it's going to be a lot better quality. Let's add that right into the group so it fires automatically. And we're now going to go, leave that on float. We're now going to go here to this and bring it down. there okay um, the cool thing is you can actually change this live in the show so while that's playing you could actually type in something that resulted in your show I mean obviously you wouldn't want to do it yourself but somebody actually could do that um, you know, or you could do something as simple as <laughs> learn how to type. Um, there, there's a million reasons why you want this. One of the main reasons that I do it is I actually um, have my merchandise sales, um, and it says when I, I give the kid away, if, uh, I give the kid a free uh, magic kit, and I have a little photograph of the magic kit that comes up automatically, and so does some text that says "Meet Justino after the show, located at." And it pops up in the text because my location will change every venue. Sometimes in the lobby, sometimes at the gift shop, sometimes in a, it's in another venue completely. So I can program that in right there before the show. And I don't even think about it. It just happens. And my line is already waiting for me before I even get out of the, the theater to meet them because they know exactly where to meet me. And there's photographs and all that kind of stuff. Same thing goes for my next show time. If I'm doing another event in a day or two or my tour dates, I can put my tour dates saying, hey, don't forget, we'll be in Vancouver on 
on you know the 17th and we'll be in Boston on the 25th and you know all that can be there for their their friends to go home and tell their friends. So there's a lot of really uh, advantageous things to use with text and uh, you can also animate text and I'll teach you that when we start doing the animations later, but text can also be animated like a video. So I uh, hope you enjoy text and hope you use it in your shows because it's definitely beneficial. <laughs>